Hey guys, Chris here from Bike and Car Fanatic. I've just been going through some old footage I had from years ago of a race I did. This was a practice run, and uh, this was taken on an old GoPro Hero Plus that had no stabilisation whatsoever. So obviously the footage is uh, is pretty average and basically unusable. So uh, what I thought I might show you guys today is I found out how to use the best settings within DaVinci Resolve 16 to try and recover some of this old footage. So I thought I'd show you guys what I've uh, what I've done and, and what the, the difference is and how it looks. So first things first, you want to make sure you're in the edit section of DaVinci Resolve and you want to highlight the, the clip that you want to stabilise. You then want to open up your inspector and scroll down to stabilisation. Double click on that to make sure it uh, opens up. Make sure it's active as well. Now just be very careful because it's always uh, defaulted to what we call perspective. For point of view mountain biking videos I found the best is to leave it put onto translation which is just X and Y axis on the on the uh, the movement so it doesn't distort the picture or, or, or crop it in too far. So we'll translation, we'll leave zoom off for the moment just so you can get a perspective of what the system's doing and, and how it's working. I like having uh, the minimum uh, cropping ratio, we want to leave it as smooth as possible and we do want to keep the strength as high as possible. So since you've done that, let's uh, let's stabilise it. Let the computer do its thing. There you go. So again, if you use the zoom, it uh, does zoom in a little bit, but we'll see what it does without it first. So here we go. So there you go. You can see the picture jumping around, trying to keep itself stable, but it creates those little black edges as it moves around, particularly over that big big drop. So let's uh, go back to the start and we'll zoom in this time so we'll get rid of those black edges. Let's see how it looks. Not bad, especially over that big hit. It's certainly a lot better than what it was and I think it might even allow me to like, at least watch some of this old footage which was a bit more special to me because it was a, a race. And, uh, yeah, I hope this uh, this info helps some of you guys that are editing videos using DaVinci Resolve for, for mountain bike videos. Definitely I've found these are the best settings for point of view video. So have a play, hopefully it's of use to you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, chuck us a like and a subscribe if it was useful for you, and I'll see you on the trails. Cheers!